my mom introduced me to this cool paper folding called origami. She showed me a crane and I'm like, wait, that's cool looking. I wanna know how to make one. So she showed me how to make one. really really upset and it just helped calm me down and cool me down what ended up happening was it eventually became an outlet for me in a very dark time in his life you know to max those cranes meant hope those cranes meant friendship those cranes meant a bridge between having to think of what he's thought about or actually doing something it became something I really loved to do and I became good at it and eventually we came here to get a little bit of help. The biggest concerns that I had when Max came here was what, what was it going to look like? Were there going to be, um, you know, was, was he going to be bombarded right away when he got in here? Um, and, uh, and it wasn't like that at all. Immediately when you pull in to the Justice Center, it's like you're driving up to somebody's house. And when he walked in, it was more of a very welcoming, very, you know, the, he had the toys, he had the, the stuffed animals, and yeah, so he was, he was at ease. So, I like that. Come here, you're safe. You've got people who care, people who are concerned. So I think that was important. I guess he was expecting all kinds of things, but the one thing that he did go off with is like, they actually believe me, they, they believe me. I think that's what's so special about this place, is that a child needs to have somebody to believe them when it comes to something so sensitive. And, and they're not gonna sit there and look at him like, you know, that didn't happen to you. You're gonna be okay, suck it up. You know, it's not like that here. Since I got help, I wanted to do something to give back to you guys. You know what I mean? To thank you for all the help you did. So I started thinking and I looked up at that ceiling and I'm like, wouldn't that look nice if we had cranes hung up all over? To be able to set the ambience and, and, and be able to set that kind of mood for them uh, and to be a part of that to us was, was important. Um, and that's why, you know, bringing them back was important to us. I was doing it for the people who also were in bad situations that came here, that maybe it would inspire them to look up there and say, hey, I want to make one of those and become an outlet for them also. One of the first things that kids used to do, like, you know, they, they try to hold back the tears. That's one of the things that I noticed about Max when he would try to hold back those tears. He would kind of look up to keep the tears from coming out of his eyes. And to, to be able to look up and not see, you know, just wall or ceiling, and to be able to look at those cranes, I think that'd be something nice to look at. The one thing that I really want them to know is that you have people out there that are listening, people out there that are wanting to be your friend. It's okay to have mixed up feelings about some of the things that they're experiencing, but they can always look up at those cranes 
and know that it's going to get better.